Have you ever questioned if hell is merely a concept or a palpable reality? Today, we're venturing into a territory often avoided yet essential to comprehend, the biblical portrayal of hell. Many skirt around this topic, preferring messages that soothe rather than confront. However, grasping the true essence of hell is a crucial component of our spiritual journey. It's a topic that demands our attention for a complete understanding of the gospel and its implications on our eternal destiny. The Biblical Reality of Hell Isn't hell merely a concept invented to instill fear? The scriptures speak a different truth, portraying hell not as a mere metaphor, but as a stark and harrowing reality. In the Holy Bible, it is Jesus Christ more than any other who speaks extensively and explicitly about hell. He does so not to alarm us needlessly, but to convey the gravity of what awaits beyond the mortal realm for those who stray from the path of righteousness. Consider, for instance, how Jesus describes the end times in Matthew 13, 40. He likens it to the gathering and burning of weeds, a vivid illustration of hell as a place of destruction and despair. This analogy is not chosen lightly. The burning of weeds is final. A clear-cut end with no return, a powerful metaphor for the finality and irreversible nature of hell. Further, in Matthew 25, 41, hell is described in even more striking terms as an eternal fire, originally prepared for the devil and his angels. This isn't a parable or a story. These are words meant to paint a clear picture of hell's reality. An eternal fire signifies not just unending pain and suffering, but also a place of punishment that was never intended for humanity, yet becomes the destiny of those who reject God's grace. The starkness of these descriptions serves a profound purpose. They are not merely to scare us into moral behavior, but to underscore the seriousness of our spiritual journey. Our life on earth is but a fleeting moment compared to eternity and our decisions here echo into the afterlife. The reality of hell as described by Jesus is a solemn reminder of the consequences of our choices. A call to live a life aligned with God's teachings, seeking His forgiveness and grace. In recognizing the biblical reality of hell, we come to understand the importance of our actions, words, and thoughts. It's a reminder that our spiritual life demands our attention, commitment, and sincerity. Hell, as depicted in the scriptures, is not just a distant, abstract concept, but a real and imminent consequence of turning away from God's path. The Bible's emphasis on hell's perpetuity is particularly striking. It speaks of unending agony, an eternity that stretches beyond human comprehension. This is not merely a prolonged period of suffering, but an endless state of existence in torment, completely devoid of the hope and peace found in God's presence. Moreover, the frequent biblical references to weeping and gnashing of teeth in hell are more than just dramatic imagery. They are metaphors for the profound regret and utter despair that souls experience when they find themselves irreversibly separated from God's grace. This emotional torment is a reflection of the soul's realization of what it has lost, an eternity in God's loving presence. These scriptural descriptions of hell serve a greater purpose than to incite fear. They are intended to convey the severity of what awaits those who choose to turn away from God's path. The significance of Jesus' teachings on hell. Did Jesus really address the topic of hell in his teachings? Absolutely, and his words on this matter are not only profound, but also form a critical component of his warning to humanity. In the Gospel of Mark, chapter 9, verses 43 to 47, Jesus uses the dramatic metaphor of cutting off body parts that cause sin. Far from a literal endorsement of self-harm, this metaphor is a potent tool employed by Jesus to emphasize the gravity of sin and the severe consequences of hell. His message is clear. The sacrifices made to avoid sin 
and its temptations are worthwhile when compared to the eternal consequences. Through his words, Jesus invites us to a thoughtful examination of our lives, urging us to consider the fleeting nature of sinful pleasures against the backdrop of eternal suffering in hell. Jesus' emphasis on hell underscores the urgency of repentance and the critical need for salvation. He presents a stark choice, a path of sin leading to eternal damnation or a path of righteousness leading to eternal life. His teachings on hell are an integral part of the broader message of redemption and grace that he brought to humanity. They highlight the necessity of turning away from sin, embracing a life of holiness, and accepting the salvation offered through his sacrifice. In essence, Jesus' teachings on hell are a vital reminder of the weight of our choices and the profound impact they have on our eternal destiny. They are not meant to paralyze us with fear, but to awaken us to the reality of our spiritual condition and the urgent need for transformation through Christ's redeeming love. It's a message of hope as much as it is a warning, a beacon guiding us towards a life in harmony with divine love and truth. The choice between sin and salvation. What alternative do we have to the grim prospect of hell? The scriptures delineate a clear choice, a life mired in sin leading to eternal damnation, or a life transformed by the redemptive power of Jesus Christ, opening the way to eternal life. This pivotal decision is not just about the here and now, but has far-reaching eternal implications. Revelation 20:12 paints a vivid picture of the final judgment a moment of profound significance where our earthly actions are thoroughly examined and the destiny of our souls is irrevocably decided. This final reckoning is not merely a symbolic event. It's a solemn affirmation of the lasting impact of our choices and deeds. The scripture emphasizes that our earthly lives are fleeting, yet the choices we make bear eternal weight. This understanding is crucial in discerning the path we tread. This moment of judgment is a stark reminder of the gravity and eternal consequences of our actions. It serves as a clarion call to critically assess the direction of our lives. Are we entangled in the web of sin or are we walking the path of redemption paved by Christ's sacrifice? It's a decision that demands thoughtful consideration, urging us to consciously and deliberately embrace the salvation offered through Jesus Christ. Embracing salvation through Christ is more than a one-time event. It's a lifelong commitment to walk in His ways, renouncing sin and its fleeting pleasures. This decision to follow Christ is transformative, leading us from the darkness of sin into the light of God's grace. The choice between sin and salvation is a profound one, laden with eternal significance. It's about more than avoiding the horrors of hell. It's about choosing a life that is aligned with God's will, a life that is abundant in love, peace, and eternal joy.